The first programmer, of course, was a woman, Augusta Ada King Byron, who later became the Countess of Lovelace. She was quite a sickly child and spent an awful lot of time in bed, so to keep her amused her parents got her tutors. She learnt several languages and she became a maths prodigy, someone that all the others wanted to meet. And that's how she came to meet Charles Babbage. They'd met socially and he'd been to Pisa University to give a lecture. The lecture had been recorded in Italian and she translated it from Italian to English. That started her thinking. Wouldn't it be a good idea if... Most advances in technology come about through war. But in computing's case, the main impetus was trade. Britain is an island nation. We trade by boats. If you're going to navigate on open water, you need to have very accurate trigonometric tables. These trigonometric tables used to be calculated by hand. But Babbage and Lovelace thought it'd be a really good idea to do it by a machine. That way all the errors that were in there could be ironed out. And so they set about creating and programming the analytical engine and its successor, the difference engine. This computer was way ahead of its time. It could be programmed, it had storage, and it could display results. There was one problem though. The engineering at that time wasn't exact enough and the cogs and gears couldn't be machined as precisely as uh, Charles Babbage needed them to be. So the machine didn't work. But that paper that Ada Lovelace wrote on how to program was the first programming manual ever created. But it lay forgotten. It lay forgotten in Pisa University until after Alan Turing worked with the real electronic computers.